materials. How would you start this painting? Okay, the first thing I would do, I take a one inch brush, I dip it in some water, and then I'll fling it on. I want to do two large flowers and four small flowers. So first I would just go boom, there's one large, and then another mount, there's two large, and then I want four smaller flowers. Okay, you want enough water in there to get it to bellow out. So those were the large ones right there on the left. Then going across to the right, I have smaller ones and I'm just flinging it on here. I put a little brown matter into this paint. You normally use clear water so you can see it better. Now I pick my first color. I wet down the brown matter and I put it down to the base like here. It's more brown matter. Make it nice and dark. And then I work it up so it hits and you can see how it's hitting the water here and bleeding up. But you want to make plenty dark down below and then just let it bleed up. Now that you've got that one going, you want to clean out your brush. Get all that color out. Get some clean water over here on the second one. And let's go for the raw sienna. So I need to activate the raw sienna. Now let's put it on this one. Down at the base, into the dry area, then you work up into the wet area. Let it bleed up. You can see it bleeding up. Plenty of paint there and let it bleed up. Okay. You know, touch all over here too while I'm at it. And clean the brush out again. And let's go to the third color. Enter it blue. And let's pick it over here. Get more color. There, see how it hit? Went in. So you want to go in the base and then work it up. Let it bleed up. Let's pick another one over here. Get that Antwerp blue too. Yeah, now I need to clean that out. And let's go back over to Brown Matter. Put it over here. Let it bleed in. Let it bleed in over to this one. Some little ones there. There you go. That's good. Clear that out. Now I need to switch over back to the other color. Put the raw sienna there. Let it bleed up. Put a little bit more over there. Stick some way out here. All there. A little bit of touch in there. In there. And there you go, and that is the start of the flowers, although you could start some thistles here with this and just pull it out a little bit there, see? And pull that out a little bit, pull it out, pull it across, down, pull it out, pull it out, pull this one out, pull this one out some, and that. Have some fun with it. And put a little bit of the other coat there. Okay, that's now, the start of your flowers. Now that you have your flowers in, what do you do next? Well, since you have flowers and you just have the buds here, you really want the stems. So they would come down, do like an S shape, go towards the center of the bottom from the base of the flowers, and then do the leaves and the bottoms of the flowers. So to do that, we're going to make a green. To make the green, we're going to mix some of the raw sienna here with some Antwerp blue. 
And let's make a good sized pile because we're going to have to do all the stems and all the leaves and we'll go into the base of the flowers, okay? Now, some Antwerp blue. And see how it's light green? That's a nice green. Nice light green. So I come from here and I'm using the tip of it, not the wide angle. So it makes more narrow line. Come down S there. There's one. Take one here. There. Another one here. There. Got this one here. It goes down behind. Comes across and down and in. One over here. Let it run through. Another one up here. Comes down across. Down through. Another one here. There. And now we want to get the leaves. So it makes a little more mixture here. Raw sienna, and for blue, a little bit darker green. Now we do like a quarter of it, and we do a little twist. So I twist around like that, and then like this, like backwards S and forward S, and bring it in. Make little leaves here. A little bit over here, some up here, bring more there, some up here. So you can see the leaves coming in. Those look nice. I get a little bit of brown matter at the tip of your brush. And let it run through and go in. So complement to green is red. So brown matter has the red. You get a little touch of red in there. Sort of spices it up. And then if you use more of the brown matter into this green mixture, it almost makes a brown mixture. You do a half circle here, 